Hello, my name is Natalie and today we're talking about online dictionaries for English learners. An online dictionary in your computer or mobile phone is always with you and quite more handy than a paper one and besides can provide some more useful information. But before we start, let's make one thing clear. Language learners typically deal with two kinds of dictionary. First, translation, when they have given translation to their mother tongue and back, and the definition, in the language they are learning. In this video, we are discussing how to choose the definition dictionary. But if you want to know about translation dictionaries, write in the comments. If your online dictionary doesn't have these features, it is considered a bad one. These are the essentials of an online dictionary. Let's see them. First of all, it is transcription and the ability to listen to the word pronounced. There should be a special button. Dictionary. And my personal favorite here is dictionary.com because it has got two types of written transcription. The classic and spelling. Second, as many different meanings as possible. Mm, it is one of the perks of the English language. If the word, for example, run, doesn't have at least 25 different meanings, this dictionary is bad. A normal word article should provide synonyms and antonyms. Some dictionaries even have made a special search called thesaurus. Now here I would recommend a Merriam-Webster dictionary because it has got separate synonyms and antonyms for every meaning of the word. Just look! A decent dictionary must provide irregular forms of verbs, adjectives, nouns, and things like that. Also, typical online dictionary features can include add a word to favorites, view search history, or share the word. They can be quite handy. As a learner, you can consult such type of a dictionary to some other task than hmm, what does this word mean? So, what could they be? Explain the meaning of the word in the language you are learning. That's quite a popular task. And what do you need from the dictionary? The definition. Here I would recommend dictionary.com because its special feature is having a definition specifically made for learners. It's way easier. Just look at the example. Another task is find synonyms and antonyms. Here, I think you know what dictionary to use. Merriam-Webster provides the vastest variety of different synonyms and antonyms. Change the word to fit in the sentence. That is quite popular exam task on word building. That means suffixes, prefixes, changing parts of speech. In this case, what do you want to see in the dictionary is the section derived derivatives or related forms. In this case, my personal favorite is word web dictionary. Look, they are all sorted out there. Another popular task is use these words in a sentence. I often use it as a teacher and I can say here you need to look out for examples section. Mm, in a dictionary.com it is a paid section but Word Web Dictionary has got this section in green. Every online dictionary has got a special feature, something that makes it stand out in the crowd. And you learners can have a bonus from that. 
and keep using one dictionary of that. Uh, I use many at the same time and I can share some of the special features that I know of. My favorite dictionary.com has got its real superpower. It is definition for learners and also it has got articles related to the language so you always stay up to date. Merriam-Webster dictionary has got a really cute design. It is the most awesome to look at and use. And the majority of online dictionaries have got um, word of the day. So you learners can learn new words every day. There is no perfect dictionary, but there is one that suits your aims and your tastes. And I hope my advice can help you to select the one for your successful learning. Thanks for watching. Bye.